So, uh, Stephen A., what did you make of LeBron's performance or lack thereof in game three? It was an off night, plain and simple. That's all it was. No real, no need to lose perspective in all of this. It's not like Cleveland's going to lose this series because LeBron James had a bad game. He just had an awful game, probably the worst performance of his postseason career. Some would say that. I would say no. I remember an eight-point performance in the finals against Dallas in one particular game. Uh, but this would definitely rank number two in terms of worst performances, 11 Point six rebounds, six assists, six turnovers. Didn't seem into it at all. Seemed inactive, just out of it for some reason. And defensively, collectively, uh, the Cleveland Cavaliers didn't show up as well and play the kind of uh, defense that they had been playing recently. But again, it's just one game. We're not losing perspective here. We're not going to act like the wheels have come off. You know, the bottom line is it was just one game, and you can bet, you can best believe that's not going to happen to LeBron James again in Game Four. Okay, we will not overreact, but considering what we saw in game one and game two and that they were favored by 16 and a half points and they were up by 21 points here, yep. Uh, yep. should the Cavs be concerned about what's going to happen tomorrow night or is this just going to be no. like, uh-oh, watch it, sees no. you're in trouble? No. No, are you, do you really think that Marcus Smart is going to hit 7 of 10 from three-point range like he did last night? I can't see that happening, happening. not to mention the fact that everybody's been talking about this kid, Jarebko, who played well, hit all four of his shots, both of his three-pointers. But let's not forget Kelly, Kelly Olenek as well. He had 15 points off the bench. Both of these dudes don't mind banging. They don't mind getting physical. That's something that Cleveland may need to be concerned about just a touch. But let me, under, let me make sure I'm very, very clear, guys, yep. about what my objective is and what my agenda is. No excuses. Zero. I'm not going to overreact to one game. I'm not going to say, oh, all of a sudden, Golden State's the prohibitive favorite and Cleveland's on the come up. They've got nothing to lose. They're playing with house money. No, no, no. See, all of this stuff that everybody's talking about LeBron James. Oh, my God, he had a bad game. He, oh my, they look at how he looked in game three. We have so much to be concerned about. Absolutely not. It's one game. He'll be just fine in game five. He'll be just fine in game four. They'll be all right. They'll win the series. They're going on to the NBA Finals, and we will look at them, and we will judge two elite teams. We're not going to sit up there and say, oh, my goodness, he looks so bad in game three. So now Golden State is here, Cleveland is here, and they're playing with house money. Uh-uh. Absolutely not. See, no excuses. I'm so, no I'm, excuses. I'm so None. sorry because you started this interview so calm and yeah. cool. And what did you do? I know. Stephen? And then my question no got, you, got you so, no, so no, emotionally no, I'm not, invested. I'm, not, I, okay. I'm, 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 I'm committed to making sure that no one sits up there and tries to change the narrative no. and make it look like, oh, my goodness, they're playing with house money because Cleveland is so inferior and Golden State is so superior. Nope, he's the best player in the world. They are an elite team, the Cleveland Cavaliers. They had one bad game because Isaiah Thomas was out of the mix, and as a result, Boston is better defensively without Isaiah Thomas on the floor. And offensively, Marcus Smart showed up and had the game of his career. We get it. We understand it. We appreciate it. Major props to the Celtics. Major props to that great young coach that is Brad Stevens. Major props to the squad that Danny Ainge has built. But let's not get excited. It's one game. Game and LeBron will be just fine. No excuses. Don't change the narrative. All right. Two elite teams. Yes, we sir. Won't. We're just going to pump the brakes. Usa.